everyone. So today's video is going to be on this look I got going on here. It is a intense green type of smoky eye. Not sure what I'm going to call it yet. It is featuring one of the duochrome shadows from Makeup Geek. So if you want to see how I got this look, then go ahead and just keep on watching. So let's get this holiday look started. I'm going to go ahead and start with some transition shades. I'm going to go in with the 35O palette and I'm going to use a mix of these two just to put down a transition shade. Not really too much rhyme or reason to this. We just want to put something in our crease and kind of like the upper or lower brow bone, this area, your, right above your crease as well. That way there's something there already when you're going to put down the other colors and it makes it a lot easier for them to blend together. You want to bring it in pretty high up here too. That way you're covering all of your eye area and it looks a little bit more seamless and blended instead of just the harsh lines down here. And that way it looks like there's some color there and it's not just bare. But there isn't anything crazy as far as color. It's just a more skin tone eyeshadows. Okay, so next we're going to go in with the Dirty Martini from Makeup Geek. This is just a matte green shadow. It doesn't appear as intense on the actual eye when you put it on, but it is still a very nice green color, and it should complement our main lid color really well. So this you want to focus this more uh, precise in your crease. You definitely don't want to blow this out too much because it can get a little messy. So what I'm doing um, now, just to make sure that I'm having a little bit more control as far as where I'm depositing the color, is I literally just stick my brush in my crease like this and then just kind of blend it from there. So the outer bristles will get this area and the lower bristles will get this bottom area. And that way the intensity is in more in my crease. And then I'm going to bring it in slightly but not all the way in. Just pretty much whatever's left over, bring in. And it shouldn't be anything. Okay, so I'm gonna add another color just to add more depth and darkness. And this is Plumage Plumage from MAC. It is just like a deep teal peacocky type of color. And this color is pretty intense. And it's not my favorite the way they blend out, but it is the perfect color for this. So I'm just going to pack it on the outer lid here and then blend it out with a fluffier brush. I always find that the MAC shadows, you have to pack them on and then lightly blend and then pack them on. Which is a little annoying, but they do have the pigmentation that I want for this look. It's going to give you a deeper, smokier effect on the outer corner of your eye. So I'm just packing it on right here and then blending it out with a fluffier brush. Then I'm going to add a little bit more of the Dirty Martini to the outer portion just to help blend it out a little bit more. And then don't worry too much about this area because we can kind of sharpen this with concealer once we are done. Um, but do diffuse the outer edges. Then I'm going to add a little bit more plumage. Obvi. Okay, so now I'm going to put down a black base. You can use any black base you have. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Just Black Gel Liner. You can use um, the Jumbo Pencils by NYX. They have one called Black Bean. If you want to use that, just use whatever black base you want to use. And then you're going to put that all over the lid. And then diffuse the edges. Make sure whatever you're working with isn't too quick drying, that way you have time to diffuse the edges. And 
And then once you've given yourself a black eye, we're gonna go ahead and add on the next color. So I'm gonna be adding on the on top of this black base, uh, one of the Makeup Geek Duochrome shadows. I think this has more of a brownish reddish base with um, some green and gold reflex. So we're gonna go ahead and pack that on the lid on top of this color. I am gonna spray my brush with a little bit of uh, Fix Plus. You can use eye drops or whatever you have on hand. Spray it a little bit more. So it should give you more of an intense green with gold reflex. Green and gold reflex. So I'm gonna go in and lightly blend out the edges. And then I'm going to pack on a little bit more of the plumage on the outer just to help it blend better. And then lightly blend. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and then I will be back. Okay, so I went ahead and put some lashes on off camera as well. My hair's just kind of pinned back, so if it looks weird, it's just pinned back. I put on Coco Lashes Soho. These have probably been like my favorite lashes lately. They're so perfect and wispy, and they also allow for the actual shadow to come through versus like really thick fuller lashes that kind of overpower the look. Um, so yeah, those have been my go-to lashes lately. I already did my foundation before I started filming. I did some light bronzing, so I'm gonna go ahead and start concealing and then go from there. So today for naked, so today for naked. So today for concealer, I'm gonna try the Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. I've heard everybody and their mom rave about this, so I finally got my hands on it to see what the hype is about. And I got mine in the color Medium Light Neutral. A really strong smell. It has nice coverage. It's definitely creamier than my Pro Longwear concealer. And I'm using the concealer a lot to kind of slightly clean up the sides to give it a little bit more of a sharper look. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and set that with the Laura Mercier Loose, I feel like I always say it strong, Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I always see um, Nicole kind of pat out her creases first before she sets it. And I'm like, that's like the simplest thing, but it's really smart because for me I'm like blinking and I'm already creasing so it's not good to go straight in with my powder without doing some light padding that way I'm not setting the actual creases I'm not doing any baking or anything like that just because under my eyes right now it's really dry so that's why I've been trying to go light with the powder because powder is like your worst enemy when you're dry so so I'm gonna go ahead and work on my lower lash line I'm gonna start by lining my waterline with essence this essence uh, gel eye pencil and it's in the color urban jungle these are really nice I think this was like two bucks and they're super pigmented super creamy and they are twist so you don't have to worry about sharpening or stabbing your eyes And this is sort of a metallic kind of emerald color, so it's really gonna complement the outer corner color that we put in, the MAC one. The only thing I don't like about this is that it's waterproof. So I really have to get up in there when I am trying to remove it at the end of the night. But I really like the pigmentation and it's really, the, the brand's really inexpensive. So I'm gonna go ahead and smudge and diffuse that. 
with a dirty martini. And I want to keep the intensity on the outer lash line just because I want to make sure that I stay a little bit more open. So when I'm working with the color, first I just kind of deposit it right here and work a lot of it on the outer corner and then slowly bring it in. That way I'm not bringing all of the product straight away in and it's not giving me like uh, too much intensity on the lower lash line. So for the inner corner, I do want to do a gold goldish type of highlight so i'm going to go ahead and go into the 35o palette and i'm going to go ahead and put this gold color here in the inner corner then i want to drag this slightly into this small area that we left empty that we didn't bring the green all the way into Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put some mascara on the lower lash line. And I'm just using the Photo Ready 3D Volume from Revlon. Okay, so once that is done, I'm going to add a little bit more bronzer to the cheeks and then go ahead and do some light contouring. I'm going to use my favorite, obviously, Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil. And then I'm going to do some light contouring with the NYX Pro Contour Single in Sculpt. I talked about this in my most recent monthly favorites. I'm going to take a little bit on my temples just because I'm feeling extra round face today. not great at the sharp nose contour so I always just do like a light soft application okay I'm gonna add some highlight and then I'm gonna go in with blush so for highlight I'm gonna be using the revolution vivid baked highlighter and I talked about this in my most recent favorites as well it's just a really gorgeous like pinky frosty kind of iridescent well not iridescent sort of it's just like a frosty highlight. I'm just keeping this right here because I kind of want it to frame this side of my face. I don't want to bring it down too much um, just because, you know, accentuates the roundness, I guess you could say. So I just want to highlight the areas I really want the light to be catching. I'm gonna do a little bit on the bridge of my nose. And then a little bit on the arches of my brows here. And then I'm also gonna use this as my brow bone highlight. on my cupid's bow. And then for lips, I'm going to go on with this Maybelline Creamy Matte in Nude Nuance. that completes the look i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it thank you so much for watching as always and i will see you guys next time bye